What's up, guys? It's Will here, back again. And this morning, we got some very exciting six scale news that we need to talk about. We got NR dropping some bombs. We got Hot Toys dropping some bombs. We're going to get into all of it, guys. But what we're going to start with, of course, is Hot Toys news that there are more Spider Man figures on the way because you know what? The industry of cinema is really struggling a little bit right now. A lot of films are bombing. Barbie did great, but a lot of the films are not doing great. So, what does Hot Toys do when films are struggling? We go back to our cash cow. We go to Spider Man. We go to Spider Man, maybe even Iron Man. Not announced in this post, but maybe you see more Iron Man figures come up. Maybe you see more, you know, Infinity Saga stuff come up because they're like, you know what? We got to go back to what sells and nostalgia sells. You know what sells? Spider Man sells. So what they did, they said, you know what? Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse 2, as many people know it as, uh, there's going to be more figures from Hot Toys coming. So that's going to be something that I think is pretty exciting to see. I'm wondering if maybe they make a Spot figure. I'm wondering if Spot could be a really cool looking figure in six scale. Give him sort of a fabric outfit. Give him some cool accessories. Make him do some cool stuff. Of course, spoiler alert, but it's been a while. That Miles Morales that you see at the end of the film, I think that could be the Miles Morales Prowler. I think that could very easily be turned into a hot toy. I think you could also see the Prowler, the Mahershala Ali version, the regular Prowler. That could be something that you see. Maybe they make some others as well. But there's also like the uh, the punk Spider-Man or whatever, that one. They made a version of that before, but maybe they can make a different version for Spider-Verse. There were other Spider-Man in the film as well that I think were pretty cool. Hot Toys could very easily say, you know what? All these Spider-Men, all the Spider-Men, that's money right there. Money talks. And they're going to make that. So what they also talked about was something else pretty cool. Spider-Man 3 figures. So the Tobey Maguire pizza scooter is definitely on the way. Not even a question. And uh, yeah, that should be any day now. But what you're probably going to see, honestly, is a black suit reissue of Tobey Maguire when he had the symbiote. I think that's probably going to be something that they do. A remake rather rather than a reissue. I think they're going to do that. I think they maybe have a... I would, I would speculate that maybe they've acquired Tobey Maguire's license from No Way Home uh, for likeness. And they've probably gone on back and got something from spider-man 3 as well uh you could maybe you see like a green goblin like a um a james franco but i guess i don't know i mean he, his his status right now is a little bit up in the air i mean i know he's he's gone through a lot of stuff in terms of like uh some questionable things decisions that he's made that he's made so maybe they shy away from that one but who knows right there could be a sandman there could be a black suit spider-man there could be just a regular spider-man suit as well toby mcguire a remake a 2.0 which i think people would go for so there's definitely a lot of uh, uh like a, a lot of options for spider-man 3 that they could go into and uh things that they could do and they clearly see this as a profitable uh potential line for them so we got spider-man 3 we got no uh we got we of course no way home is a very deep line that's a very deep spider-man line and then of course you got the spider-verse stuff so and you got the video game spider-man stuff they haven't even put that in there right they haven't even announced venom they haven't even announced all the other suits from the spider-man video game that are going to be uh, playable and accessible so yeah there's going to be a lot of spider-man hot toys coming in the near future so this is going to be something you're going to want to uh stay tuned for but I, I mean, I don't know. There's the black suit symbiote Spidey from the video game, Miles Morales. There's a lot of cool Spidey shit. Spider-Man is the new Iron Man. Maybe he was Iron Man all along. We just didn't realize it. But since Iron Man is inactive and Spider-Man is not, Spider-Man has become the shit. Spider-Man has become Hot Toys' main cash cow. So he's the one they're going to go after. That said, guys, we got some other news here. So Inart actually uh, did an announcement saying that a pre-order is coming for Superman. So let's show this one first, actually. So Superman, you can see here, the pre-order is going to start on September 25th. So that's actually four days from now. So that's pretty interesting. So what's that? Monday, Monday, September the 25th. That's going to be the PO for Superman BBS Inart 1-6 scale. So that is going to be something you're going to want to look out for. I'll ask Kit if maybe I can get a code for you guys for that one. I'll see what he says. And then I'll provide you guys an update. So stay tuned to the channel for that one. Make sure to, by the way, click the notification bell subscribe to the channel like this video if you did like the video and uh for more updates but i'm actually looking forward to the superman i'm not the biggest superman fan in the world however the nr gandalf has really won me over and i will be reviewing the nr pennywise soon which i'm also very excited about and this Superman, I think, is pretty cool. So I think a lot of collectors, including myself, are definitely glued to the screen for every NR PO just to see what they do and, and the work that they provide. Because right now, I think NR is doing something pretty spectacular. And I definitely want to be a part of it in terms of uh, reviewing figures and collecting the ones that are important to me. So I do think that people should pay attention to this. This is a very exciting PO. It's Superman. Look, again, Henry Cavill is no longer Superman, but I do think Henry Cavill has a lot of staying power with a lot of collectors. And I do think uh, people uh, view him as a very iconic Superman, at least in today's age. I don't know how long term that will last just because of his, like maybe the new Superman comes in and he's just absolutely fantastic. And then that's the end of it. 
but uh, I guess we'll see. But this is the Superman photos that we had uh, before from in art at an event. I'm not sure if this was China Joy or another event, but they posted some photos uh, of the in art Superman prototype. And I think the laser eye photo is actually really good. What I'm suspecting is that it's going to go similar to the path of Aragorn. Aragorn, the initial head sculpt, people were not that thrilled with. It was decent. It was good. I liked it. I thought it was solid, but then they updated it and they said, and now everyone was like, yeah, that's it right there. That's what I'm talking about. This Superman, I have a feeling they're going to do something similar this looks like sculpted hair to me and i've said that all along i don't feel you necessarily need rooted hair for the superman but i guess we'll see the specific details when the po goes up but um yeah this all it's almost looks sculpted to me but i don't know it's hard to tell maybe it is rooted i'm not exactly sure i think the cape looks very impressive so clearly you got a million wires in this cape you can do a million different things with it give it a really cool dynamic pose i think this in art superman is going to be pretty badass I think overall the proportions look good. Uh, nice six pack there. That's a goal for all of us. So uh, NR is setting Henry Cavill goals for the rest of us. And uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I think the suit material looks solid. The cape looks great. The head sculpt is good. This head sculpt is better than the other uh, sort of uh, general stoic head sculpt. So I really like this laser eye head sculpt. I think it's pretty dope. And it looks very angry and, and sort of uh, ominous, which I like. So this one looks good too, but again, I'm hoping to see more updates in the future to give us a little bit more clarity on, um, you know, how good this Henry Cavill head sculpt is going to be. But I think if it's anything like the Gandalf, if it's anything like the Joker, if it's anything like the Pennywise from what I've seen thus far, it's going to be pretty damn impressive and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So guys, again, let me know in the comments below what uh, your thoughts are on this Superman. I... It's so hard to say without seeing what the base is going to be and what the other accessories are going to be, what the price is going to be. So if I'm predicting price, I think this is probably going to be like maybe a $400 figure, $450. I, I, but it's hard to say because he doesn't have a beard like Gandalf, so that should be cheaper in its, you know, in 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 um, in basic terms. And I think if you're looking at, you know, what the base is going to be, who knows? The base could be big Harry Potter like base, and then that adds to the charge quite a bit. So we really just don't know at the time. But I would say prepare for $400 to $450, maybe somewhere around there. And I guess we'll go from there. And, uh, you know, one six kit is where I get mine. So I'll try to get a code for you guys. I'll ask and see if that's a possibility. And then we'll go from there and I'll provide you guys updates. So again, subscribe to the channel, like, comment uh, below. And then, of course, click the notification bell for updates so to make sure you have uh, updates on when this goes live. So, guys, we have a release actually from Hot Toys. And this is the tactical suit Batman. So this is pretty interesting, actually, because when this went up for PO, there were definitely uh, there were people that were certainly interested. But I, I noticed people had almost kind of moved on. And maybe this was a symptom of people's general mindset towards DC now and, of course, at the time. And it's only worsened since then. I think that overall, this is a very good looking figure. I like the suit. Honestly, I think it really does pop. This is a Snyder versus Batman. That's what it is. I, I mean, I do think that the character design, the costume design looks really good. The head sculpt looks good. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly Ben Affleck, but I think it's close enough with a mask on that you're really not going to care that much. And of course, you have the glasses. So if you put those on him, you're really not going to care that much because all that really remains is the faceplate. At that point, it doesn't look like Ben Affleck in the mouth reason. Sure, I guess it does. But I think this figure looks pretty good, honestly. I think it has, honestly, a lot of presence. It's one of the cooler Batmans that I've personally seen. I uh, This is not going to be one that I would maybe pick up besides a review, but I do think overall that this is a pretty solid, cool-looking Batman. I know they originally released this figure prior, and then now this is sort of like a remake slash reissue 2.0, whatever you want to call it. But I do think this looks pretty cool. The cape fabric looks certainly interesting, and it looks to me like there's uh, not any wires in that cape, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to see if I get this in hand. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It's hard, so hard to tell with the blogger photos, but I do think this looks pretty good. I really like the texture and the paint apps on the helmet. It sort of has sort of like a, a gray brushing there. It looks like maybe it's just the lighting. I'm not sure, but it does look look pretty cool actually and the gold really pops on this suit the the gauntlets actually are another standout piece to me i look at the gauntlets and i see that gold i think the gold really contrasts with the with the silver and the gray very effectively so i think this looks pretty fucking cool so i want to hear what you guys think about this this batman again is not one that i'm like super jazzed for but i'm excited that dc fans are getting some love and able to get some stuff that they really want to get because it that is historically not always been the case so it's one that you really got to look at uh you know and consider your options because you're not getting a ton of stuff and more than not when dc releases stuff it's batman stuff because batman sells and a lot of the other dc stuff apparently does not so i guess we're going to see how that plays out once uh james gunn and peter saffron come in and what they do with the dcu but um 
yeah, the, the Snyder stuff, I think people have already moved on, unfortunately. So Superman is going to be very interesting to see for in art and see how the popularity of that one goes. Some people consider him iconic. Some people have already moved on. So I guess we're going to see where people lie and where their uh, wallet loyalties are. So yeah, this Batman is pretty cool, guys. Let me know if you're picking up this Batman in the comments below. I do think it's a pretty cool one. I think Hot Toys did a great job here. I think this looks like a great figure. It's another solid release. And I think it has some cool accessories. You can do some cool stuff with him. So if you were gonna have one Batman and Ben Affleck was your Batman, this is a pretty good option. This is a pretty good option. It's a cool Batman. It's very tactical looking, which the name fits, right? So I think this is pretty cool nonetheless. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been you know, a six scale news video. I don't know if I have an exact term for it, but uh, <laughs> everything disappeared <laughs> that was super weird everything disappeared so guys i don't know if i have an exact term for this but uh yeah so anyway that's that's pretty much all for me uh, technical difficulties apparently anyway guys thank you so much i'll catch you the next one peace out see you later bye bye say bye bye